This is the press credential I got to cover the Muhammad Ali Ken Norton World Championship fight in New York. I'm John Gross, and I really lucked out because I got to interview Muhammad Ali twice, and both times were one on one interviews. The first time was in Springfield, Illinois. Hey, <laughs> you're probably thinking, Springfield, why would he come there? Because 30 minutes away from Springfield to the west is Jacksonville, Illinois. Hometown to Ken Norton. In 1973, Norton beat Ali, upset Ali, broke his jaw, and won the title. Then they had some other fights, and in 1976, the big fight. It was going to be at Yankee Stadium, and Ali flew in to promote the flight. My cameraman, Lynn White, and I, we went to the airport, and we waited and waited, and there was finally a small plane landed. Ali walks over, and we can't believe it. Because we're the only camera. We're the only reporter to interview him. Oh, he was fantastic. Shook hands with everybody before the interview. This is before Parkinson's, and he was amazing. Uh, so much fun to interview. All I had to do was say a word, and he'd answer it and smile. He gave props to Ken Norton. We did the interview. We were so excited. We got back to the TV station, and I went to the news director, Don Hickman. I said, Don, I got an idea. I could do a half-hour special. We could fly out to New York and come back and do a half-hour special on Ken Norton and Muhammad Ali. Springfield, Illinois. Don Hickman, bless him, said, yeah, go ahead. So Lynn Wine and I went to New York. She was my photographer. It was amazing. I, I went to Dick Schapp. I knew him. And I said, do you happen to have any interviews with Ali that you did? He said, I got a lot of them. And went out into a hall and came back five minutes later and had a reel of tape this big. And he said, these are my one-on-one -on -one interviews with Muhammad Ali. It was exciting. The fight was amazing. Controversial fight. One of the most controversial heavyweight championship fights ever. A lot of people felt that Norton won, but Ali won the fight. The second interview I got was in Detroit. I read in the paper that Muhammad Ali was coming to town. It wasn't front page news. There weren't a lot of people there. He was going to give away t-shirts and meet with youngsters. I remember it was a very cold day. It was in November. It was raining and there were hundreds of kids handing out t-shirts and very long line, and I stood at the back, and finally it comes up to me, and I said, Champ, remember me? I did an interview with you before the Norton fight. Can we get an interview? And he's going, no, nah, nah, too cold, too cold. Can I do it later? Yeah, okay. Rensen. Rensen, the name of a hotel in Detroit. So I get back to the TV station, and I start calling the hotel. I'd like to talk with Muhammad Ali. Bring Hello, hi, this is John. Bam! The guy hangs up the phone. This doesn't happen once. I mean, I wait 15 minutes between calls, but it's like, no, 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 hang up, hang up, hang up. Finally, can I talk with Muhammad Ali? Yes. Hello, don't you dare hang up, man. I want to talk to Muhammad. He said, are you doing an interview? Just a minute. Hey, champ, somebody says they want to do an interview. Yeah? All right, be here at 7. 7 o'clock. Security guy opens the door. Hey, we're here for the interview. Mike Kalush was the cameraman. We had an audio person in me. We sit down. And Ali walks over, shakes hands, sits down on the bed. And Mike Kalush says, rolling. And it was like somebody turned a toggle switch on Muhammad Ali's back. And he just lit up. Oh my gosh, what a great interview. He made us laugh. He made us think. He answered anything that I asked. It was fantastic. It was so much fun. I think it was five or ten minutes. And Mike put the camera down, and the audio person took all the audio gear off. And we were just standing there, and we decided to start to chat with Muhammad Ali. We didn't think it would be more than one or two minutes, but we're there 10, 15 minutes, and he's answering anything we want to ask, and he's having fun with it, too. And our African-American sound man was there, and Ali tried to get him to change his name. 
We walked out of there. Oh, my gosh. Somewhere in the archives at Channel 7 in Detroit is that interview. Same with Springfield, Illinois, the half-hour show that I did on Norton and Ali. Ah, uh, talk about memories. I don't remember exactly what he said, but I'll never forget how he said it and how he treated us with grace. Thanks for watching. Muhammad Ali, rest in peace. I'm John Gross.